God damn it, my cold fell. That just fucking disappear and come back and disappear. What? The blocks I'm setting trying to make a bridge that you disappear. I don't know why your shit's so fucked up. You need to figure that out. Yeah, I need to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's becoming a nuisance to me hearing you like bitch. Like I can't figure it out. But uh, yeah, I remember playing like... The big shit that I played back when I was a kid was uh, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Those were like the two main consoles when I was like a kid. And then from there to N64, but when I was originally like growing up, my first consoles were those two. And it's a creepy foot down here. Well, and uh, uh-huh. we used to play like Super yeah, Mario yeah. Kart. Yeah, it's, it's a... Holy fuck. It's a creeper down here where I'm at. Uh, we used to play uh, Mario Kart, right? The original on Super Nintendo. And that shit was so much fucking fun. And you used to play that all the time. And I don't know. That's pretty much probably... like That was one of the, probably the first competitive games I played. And that's probably why I'm so competitive to this day. Because I used to play it like crazy. And I would always try to be the best. And then uh, you play Mario Kart 64, right? Mm-hmm. You never played Mario Kart 64? Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay, well, well okay. So Mario Kart 64 was a big game for me when I was a kid, like that and Mario Party. I used to play the fuck out of those two games, and then uh, I always I wanted to be the best. Played Mario Party. Yeah, because uh, I like, think me and you played Mario Party before. Yeah, like a long, long, well, not long, long time ago, but more recent than you would expect to be playing Mario Party. Yeah. Because we had the N64 emulator. But uh, I don't know, I just played a lot of competitive stuff. That's probably why I'm so competitive in nature, you know, in my normal life. But uh, I always wanted to be the best, and since I had the N64, I was the best. Because everybody had to come to my house to play that shit. And uh, the main games I used to play on N64 that was competitive after I got off the Super Nintendo playing like Mario Kart and stuff was uh, Mario Party, Mario Kart, and 007 GoldenEye. Like, that was my shit. And I was the best in GoldenEye. It was crazy. Like, I got so good that I knew where uh, every gun was when it spawns on, on every stage. I knew where all the secret passageways and all the secret paths were. And uh, I always knew where the golden gun was, and the golden gun is a gun where you yeah, play golden one for shot. one yeah. shot kill. And I had the perfect aim, even though aiming on that, I don't know what the fuck I was when I was a kid. I was some kind of beast, a monster, because I was ridiculous in video games when I was a kid. And I could murder somebody like all the way across the goddamn screen, <laughs> like all across the whole map. I could murder somebody with the golden gun. It was crazy. Like everybody hated me. I didn't have no friends no more. <laughs> but everybody always get pissed off, and I would be I like, because <laughs> I was a little dick when I was a kid. But uh. I don't know, I was just really, really good at games, and that's kind of why I ended up playing games so much, because it was something I was actually good at, and that I enjoyed doing in my free time, other than going outside and playing random sports. For some reason, I always had bad luck when it came to sports, because I was the only one that always got hit in the face with the ball. Like, whenever I play basketball, I get hit in the face, and then I play football, and I get hit in the face. Like, especially football, because football is like... And then you cry, and then you run. Then I cry, and I run home, and tell mom, and then we beat the shit out of the kid to hit me. But no, 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 I ain't never cry like that. I mean, I kind of was a crybaby, but I ain't cry getting hit over the face with the ball. Yeah, like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, football, like, when the football hit the ground, you pretty much shit out of luck. You don't know where the fuck's gonna bounce. And just smack me in the face all the other time. Yeah, it's just that. When the football hit the ground, man, I'm panicking. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, holy shit. Oh, like, oh, hell, the broke loose. Exactly. I was like, yeah, I know where it's gonna bounce up. I couldn't get the fuck away from the shit, but, <laughs> You know, I just gotta put my hands on it. I got to. But uh, they call me Deion Sanders. <laughs> I was the best when it came to video games. I was not the best when it came to actual fucking sports. Like I was terrible. I was the worst because I was always the smallest. Like I, I was the youngest out of everybody, so I was either the slowest or the uh, the worstest <laughs> at sports and shit like that. Like it's how about when you was a kid? Uh, yeah, I, I'm yeah, not saying like, everybody. Oh, it's just the slowest. It's like, maybe you just slow as fuck. Nah, because no, 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 no. Maybe you just wiggle. Yeah, like, oh, don't fuck yourself. Nah, I was the slowest. Nah, 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 nah. I was growing around like 100 percent Negro. That everybody was just naturally gifted. But uh, no, I just had bad luck when it came to balls. Like yeah. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> they always just hit you in the face. Always. <laughs> Shut up. But uh, no, damn. Uh, what was I about to say? Well, he's gonna go. Shut the like, fuck up. <laughs> he's gonna go like, how about you? No, okay, wait, wait. Before I go to you and your unimpressive story, uh, I had asthma. You did too. Yeah. And that was a that's chronic. That's no excuse. A chronic. Yes, it is. <laughs> Like I, I, it, it's funny because I feel like my asthma was better when I was a kid because I had more exercise. Like I don't really go out and do shit now that I'm old. But uh, 
I feel like back when I was a kid, the asthma wasn't that much of a problem, but I still couldn't go for long distances like everybody else could. So it was one thing hampering me. But I had an asthma healer back in the day, so that had a problem. You know, that'd be like my second wind or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it was like me, Keon, Jordan, Jarvis, and them back when we was kids. And out of all of them, I was like two years younger than everybody. So I was always the shortest and the smallest. But nah, I was like inept when it came to sports and stuff like that. It's just something I didn't really enjoy playing. And uh, like random stuff like kickball I was good at and baseball I was good at. But uh, when it came to basketball, I was complete garbage. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I can't know, even make I no excuses for that. I Shut know, the fuck up. Yeah, I seen that firsthand. Like, God <laughs> damn. I don't know, man. I got great hand-eye coordination. It was terrible. When it comes to the video games, but not when it comes to basketball. Shit. I don't know, man. I'm letting down my people. <laughs> yeah, I was like, goodness gracious, man. I felt sorry. But uh, I don't know. That's pretty much my childhood shit. How about you? What, what about? Like, what, how, what got you into video games? I didn't have one for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that got you into it? Yeah, everybody kept talking about it. I was like, what is this video game? And then I uh, gave it a try and it was fun. But I mostly stayed outside. So I ain't gonna play video games until I was older. So, you know. I'm surprised. I, I, fuck. Cause I mostly stayed on fucking video games. Like, I was Cause like, the I only was... time I played video games is if a friend had it that I barely was friends with because I'll just meet them once we'll play a video game then I'll be gone or I'll go to like fucking Kmart or Walmart or something play a little demo or whatever and then I'll be like oh that was fun wish I could have a video game and I'll just leave <laughs> but nobody wants to buy video games for me <laughs> yeah, it's hard, it was guess, five buckaroos like it used to yeah, that was back in the day. Like, I'm not even too sure what games cost back in the days, but I remember like uh, they had a store at South Carolina Mall. It's all N64 and Super Nintendo games, and they was mostly like ten, fifteen, twenty dollars around that much. It's crazy that video games. I mean, it's expensive, yeah, but I, I shelled out so many, so much money for video games sure. because it's something I actually enjoy doing. Like so I don't mind it. Like I know when uh, going from GameCube to Xbox 360. And uh, the games being sixty dollars, that shit made me so mad. Yeah. <laughs> when first, I was like, "What the fuck? Why this shit so fucking expensive? This is bullshit!" And I was like, flipping all over fucking places. I was like, I "Ain't no fucking money for this shit. I'm never gonna play again." <laughs> but then uh, eventually, I got a job. Things worked out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, games just too fucking expensive. Where's the torch? Is that? There we go. It's not a torch. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how I got into video games. It's just uh. I don't, I'm not too sure why I ended up like buying them or getting them. Like why, you know, mom just bought them for me. I don't know why. If I showed any interest in them before when I was a kid, but uh, I got it and I just started playing it. And I enjoyed it so much. Like it was some of my best childhood memories were from playing video games. And I don't know. That's why it's kind of important, I guess. The like, way jump was just hilarious because I just reminded myself. Oh, uh, just thinking about the shit. Oh uh, damn! What happened with the you know whole Sega Genesis and Nintendo thing? What the fuck are the toy? Oh here, what do you mean? Because it was hilarious. Because I usually don't get stuff from family, so I was you know I was just hyped. And when I you know seen a video game commercial, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give me a video game. I was like, hey mom, buy me a video game for you know Christmas or. And she was like, what do you want? Uh, I want a Sega Genesis. And she was like, okay. And then she got me the Sega Genesis. I'm like, yay! But, you know, you really have no games or anything. So, I was like, oh, man, I need a game. So, I couldn't really play it. It was just fucking sitting there. Because no. you know, mom don't know shit about video games. So, she just thought I'd play just the console. Yeah, luckily, but, like, that's, <laughs> that's the big difference between me and you. Yeah. Like, my mom was younger. Yeah. And your mom was older. So, my mom kind of knew about technology and stuff. So I'm, when I bought that shit, you know, they kind of got me stuff with it. But your mom, like, it's like a huge technology thing. Because yeah. y'all didn't have a computer for a long time. No. So it, it's, it's Not funny. Not until I was a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was <laughs> Until I was fucking 20. Yeah, so it, it's funny seeing that, like, age difference and how it comes to play when it comes to technology and stuff. But, uh, and then I told her, like, oh, man. And so I was like, oh, snap, I see another commercial. Uh, fucking Nintendo 64 I want that so I thought you so know, you had a Sega Genesis with no games yeah and you went to 64 yeah cause I was tired of the no games <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, but I thought I was still gonna have my Sega Genesis but she fucking <laughs> she fucking pumped my Sega Genesis to get the N64 
And I was just one angry little <laughs> yeah, That wasn't part of the deal. I was like, if you was going to punt it, I would have just kept on taking Genesis. Because I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. It was new. Like, I ain't get to play anything on the shit. But, you know, that's the way it could yeah, crumble. That's just you know. the way it is. Exactly. But I actually got a game from Nintendo. And, you know, it was Mario. So I kind of quickly forgot about <laughs> Sega Genesis. <laughs> That's probably my favorite. Yeah. Oh, you want to sleep? I ain't even get to play. Well, I'm just old, so in time. <laughs> it's time for me to go to sleep. You know what I feel like. Well, it's fucking 8 a.m. in the morning taking naps and shit. Exactly. If I could, I would. <laughs> but again, but, uh, I Let me see. So, yeah. So, I pretty much progressed from uh, N64 and playing all those games competitively. Oh, That's, shit. Why do you keep... Oh, I was like... I uh, thought you had No, hit that was the thing. <laughs> I was seeing that... Burning ass, they fall from the set down. God's fucking. That's scary. I, oh. Don't drown yourself, old man. Oh. I'm a great swimmer. From you still gotta pay half your cave rent. Cave <laughs> rent. But, uh. That's wait. a full on. Yeah, that's a cave. Is that, it's a cave home. <laughs> yeah. But it looks better in the inside. Yeah, just keep. Uh, I put some torches in there. There's some iron. If you want to make some iron tools and stuff like that. And then uh, you can also make some arm, armor. I made like a hat. <laughs> it's not much. Actually, I'll probably need to make some more if I'm going back exploring in this cave. But, uh, yeah, just, just make it look better, I guess. As we continue our talks on our childhood. So, from N64, you went from to PS2 or PlayStation 1? PlayStation 2. So, that that's around the time I met you. That's yeah. when you had the PlayStation 2. Yeah. And you had a bunch of fucking, like, random... Like, it surprised me. Because at that time, my mom... Oh, God, I, I still hate her <laughs> for this to this day. All right, so when I was a kid, I had a whole bunch of game consoles. I had a Super Nintendo... Two Sega Genesis, the PlayStation that Jordan gave me, my N64, uh, and a, a couple of Game Boys. Like I had a Game Boy Pocket that, that I broke. I broke the screen and I had Game Boy Color. Which is weird because I found a Game Boy. I think I talked about this before. I found a Game Boy Pocket in the, by the trash can. I found that in a yeah. Dragonite, a Dragonite Pokemon card. And it was like sitting on the ground near the trash can dumpster Wait, in the apartment cool. complex. Oh, no. Yeah, by the apartment complex that we lived in at the time. So, when I found that, I was fucking flipping out because I was like, oh my god, this is great. And then somehow I got Pokemon Blue from Jordan. I don't know where he got that from. <laughs> but, uh, so, when I had the Pokemon, the Game Boy Pocket and Pokemon Blue, I played that shit all the time. I would go outside, I'd be playing it, I'd be at home when I'm playing it. Then, uh, when I ran out of batteries, my mom was like, I ain't buying no batteries for this shit. Well, she ain't never sound like that. <laughs> but, uh, she was, uh... She was like, I ain't buying extra batteries because, you know, I'll run through batteries like crazy just playing, you know, the game on the goddamn time. So, uh, I, I found a uh, a power adapter that my grandma had because, you know, she has a whole bunch of, like, technology and office supplies. And I found a power adapter that fit in the Game Boy. So, I was just by outlet just playing Pokemon. So, that's one of the reasons why I love Pokemon so much because, damn, you was on a creepy-ass old dude just staring. <laughs> look at you on my screen. And I just looked back and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm watching. <laughs> but uh you know that's why Pokemon's another big it's funny that's why I was like when I uh, talk to people and I ask them questions about well, their what past, are you surprised about with me? <laughs> which <laughs> mean, that you had oh I keep I'm so <laughs> random when I met you you had the PS2 and at the time I had my GameCube or I was just getting my GameCube and I had no fucking games all I had was uh what's the one game I had I don't know I think I had no games I borrowed everything from Jason and that's how I got Brawl, not Brawl, but Melee and uh, Star Fox. If you hit me off of this, I'm beat your ass. Well, not. I'm, okay. trying to, I'm trying to be like, damn, I should have got a sword. But uh, when I met you, I knew you had a PS2, but I didn't know you had so many games. Like, you had so many like random ass games like uh, uh, uh-huh. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, oh, The Incredible it. Hulk game, uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, like all this stuff like that. And that was the first time I played Grand Theft Auto. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. That's a creep. Where's he at? Fuck. Just stand there. Don't get killed, man. But, uh, yeah. That was the first time I played Grand Theft Auto. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, my knees. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that, when I met you, that was the first time I played Grand Theft Auto. When you let me borrow three. And I'm not sure how you got a... Uh, what's that game called? Black Black Gate? Black Sunday? The oh. British game? Yeah. That I really, really like. Even though it was fucking hard. <laughs> oh, my God. They I fucking bought game. it from Hollow Video. Yeah, so I... Uh, that's, that's not around, no more. Yeah, none of that shit's around. I that one old ass Hollywood video that was by uh, 
you know, where we used to live or whatever, by Candler Road yeah. or whatever. That's one I always used to go to and rent games from. That's why I rented, uh, it was two games I never returned. Uh, Spider-Man 64, which I love that game to death. And, uh, this one shooting game that I don't remember what it was called. Where you like some, uh, secret agent guy or whatever that I let Keon borrow. Which I, I regret that. Anything you let those dudes borrow, they take to their sister's house and you never see it again. But then they did bring it back for you. And then, you, you know, you didn't steal it enough. Really, nah, I never brought. I never got that. No, back. no, you didn't steal it. No, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I totally stealed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, stole it like a motherfucker. I ain't saying that. Like, uh huh. Uh uh-huh, yeah, evidence. <laughs> he just uh, confessed to steal. I don't want video ain't gonna be able to do shit. To but me. it's still against the law, man. You gonna be like, I murdered that nigga. Yeah, girl. <laughs> hey, that's a time limit on this. Crime, like, it is. It's actual <laughs> limitations. Like, he already did. It's fucking a crime. Time limit. <laughs> I already passed that shit. Statue of limitations. I just said the shit. Like, I haven't been proved fucking innocent yet, but still. <laughs> but, uh. You can't come to me <laughs> with that dumb shit this late. You should have found me quick and exactly early. Exactly when I was a kid that threw me a <laughs> I'm too old now. But, uh. It was Spider Man 64 and some Asian game. And, uh. I just remember playing those when I was a kid. But, yeah, you had a bunch of random games. Like, where'd you get the Incredible Hulk?